the new Batman movie, What You Need to Know. Here's what you need to know. It's based on the brave and the bold. You're welcome. That's it. No, I don't like articles. What you need to know. I don't need to know this. This isn't pertinent inf information that is going to help me throughout my day. Nay, help me out th throughout my life. It's not going to affect my public transportation, my health care, my disposition, or how I perceive this realm and the one beyond. This is not something I need to know. You know what I need to know is who writes articles like this. And I need to know why people click on it. Because then maybe I could figure out what the hell's wrong with the planet. You need to know this. No, I don't. But didn't you see? The title says you need to know it. I don't need to know this. What you're missing out on, don't care. But you're missing out on, am I? Well, you're not going to know unless you click. You're missing out. Look, I'm not a stupid cat where curiosity gets itself killed, okay? I don't care. But you're missing out and you need to know. No, I don't. Sorry. Don't fall for it. What you need to know about Frasier. What you need to know about Sam. What you need to know about. What you're missing out about. What you mean to know that you're missing out about. What you're needing and missing about this guy. So, yeah, I mean, the short of it is none of this should be stressful. What should be stressful is health, bills, and mental stability. And adding more stress because of articles like this, that's optional. If, if, you, if you take the option to be stressed and then you're more stressed, then that's your fault. I look at this stuff and I, I just basically, like, if I could shoot a booger out of my nose on some of these articles, I would. Safe space! Where's my safe space from idiots? Ah! Exactly. White rhino shot to death in Florida one day after arriving at Safari Park. Yeah, that'll happen. It's Florida. You can tell Forspoken to shut up in other important settings. Yeah, I will say that about Forspoken. A couple of people that I did watch play it. The main character, la 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 la, those uh, off the cuff little tidbits that they say in combat, bro, I slide or yeah, just shut up. I get that. That is important. It's not something I need to know. I'll figure it out myself. Again, I've I've become so I don't want to say immune, but uh, resistant to like garbage articles, like what you need to know what you're missing out on, you know, that kind of thing. It's just like Kotaku just, it doesn't register to me. It just, it feels like every other news organization, you know? It's that essential clickbaity headline that tries to get you to click. I say, I see what you're doing there, and I keep moving. I like how people are comparing Hi-Fi Rush to Forspoken. The only difference is the game knows how to make funny and charming while the other is very irritating and not funny. I heard a lot about, like, the main character, uh, what was it, Frey in Forspoken? She seems like a very unlikable character to most people. I kind of got her, okay? Because she's from New York. That's how New Yorkers are. You know what I'm saying? They're a New Yorker thrown into like medieval times. Of course, they're going to be sarcastic. You know, everyone playing the game is like, they're being mean. What? They're New Yorkers. Have you not been to New York? God. I don't know. I, I, hey, I haven't played the game, but, you know, she seemed very like, yeah, why am I here? <laughs>